Hello ladies and gents, Rook here and welcome to Noah Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News and uh, as of this week there are no significant updates for your OS within the App Store available. But let's go ahead and jump straight into the news. iPhone 7 was uh, basically rumored and uh, given out by hints. The iPhone 7 is supposed to be released or announced this fall and this is actually just concept art here for the iPhone. It's not really exactly how it's supposed to look like this, but it is supposed to be thicker, which is uh, from what we've uh, heard. Also, there's several additional features, uh, force touch, letting you basically the iPhone can judge if you're pressing really hard on the screen or lightly. And then also, they got a, also they got a stronger type of aluminum grade that they are gonna be using as well, so that when you actually, if it's a bigger iPhone, for example, iPhone 7, um, which I believe they might have a plus size again and they'll have the standard size. If you sit it and put it in your pocket, it won't bend or it shouldn't bend. Now, of course, if you bend it with force, it will definitely bend. iPhone 7, uh, the colors, and uh, these are just additional facts that I've already previously mentioned in the past weeks. Um, additional changes. But yeah, this is just concept art. I'll have a link in the description for you guys to take a look at these. There's actually some pretty cool concept arts here, which I think personally, this really thin look would look pretty awesome, but then at the same time, I'm sure it would be really easily easy to bend. And here's one that's already bent for you. It really looks like it's already bent, and I just thought that was interesting. Um, let's go on to the Apple Watch 2, which I've also mentioned previously, but uh, that's definitely going to happen. And the Apple Watch 2 is reported supposed to have a camera. This would be honestly interesting, a camera on your phone. I mean, I mean not on your phone. You already got a camera on your phone on your actual watch. This basically will help you. You could actually FaceTime somebody using the Bluetooth through your phone, of course, and uh, maybe even take pictures. Um, but then otherwise, what else would you have your camera for? And this is, a, it's rumored as of for now, it hasn't been officially confirmed. And I think this would be interesting um, to see a camera on your Apple Watch. But then like, how would it play in here on the screen? Would it be really small, something small? Or is it just gonna take up part of the screen? here as well and I could almost see it them putting on one of these corners which would make honestly would make sense but then uh, it's also interesting to note that uh, for example the the first Apple watch which is actually they they're people who have actually back ordered them and been purchasing them and then also you hear about this Apple watch 2 coming out and then it's like you're wondering okay I just purchased this I don't even have my hands on this and they're already making a two so you may want to almost hold off on buying the first watch unless you want to get the full basically collection of them and then I just wait and get the Apple Watch 2. Now going on we do have the new app here that was actually re recently came out it's called Dark Sky basically predicts the weather around you it's pretty cool uh, it's really it really has a nice slick view to it if you want to check it out and uh, I'll have a link in the description for that as well but that's the basics and thank you guys for watching catch you guys next video and later so let my